I don't know how many Jesse James did, but it was mostly robbing banks. Uh, John Dillinger had a low pro number of people he killed, but this man probably killed 25 or 30 people. Retired Bibb County Sheriff Ray Wilkes is talking about this man, serial killer Paul John Knowles. Knowles' murder spree went through eight states, but Central Georgia was a home base of sorts. It's where he had a girlfriend. Eventually went to court, and where he killed over and over. He killed with no remorse, with no feelings, and, and people who he had no, uh, he just picked someone up that was stumming, hitchhiking, and ended up uh, killing the person. He didn't know him. Because as this book jacket says, he was handsome and charming, a psychopath and mass murderer. He was supposed to have been a karate expert. He was supposed to have had uh, eight hours a day of working out in that cell of all types of push-ups, sit-ups. He was a fine specimen of a man. Sandy Fox obviously agreed with that. She was a woman who met and romanced Paul John Knowles the woman who lived to write this book about him, Killing Time, a bizarre but true story of two weeks of love and terror. A British journalist on assignment in the United States, Sandy Fox met Paul John Knowles in Atlanta and eventually traveled south of him. They rode to Florida and a new car that unknown to Fox at the time had been stolen from a Knowles murder victim. Knowles said he wanted her to write his story, but he didn't tell her he was a killer. Instead, he told her a story about Jonathan Livington Seagull. Ray Wilkes heard the story, too, when he noticed the ring Paul John Knowles wore in jail. Basically, the story was it was a seagull who defied all other knowns and all other traditions and broke away from the flock of other seagulls and rose to a height that was above and above all the others. You could say that about Knowles. He just killed him for the sake of killing. It was a scorecard.